Deshaun Jones here, Ahmad McCullough there. Are we feeling for the second half? It looks like you're a little limping. Yeah, um, my knee is good. I, it's the same thing. Like, I, uh, it's more so the top of the knee, like when I, it hits something or like when it lands on it, it just like it's aggravated again. So, but it's, it's good. What was your mindset in terms of deciding, I mean, not coming out of the game, even though you were up a bit, it seemed like you wanted to keep going? Oh yeah, of course. I think uh, it was kind of, it was an easy decision for me, uh, just because, you know, we're playing this game for the seniors and trying to end them out the right way. And um, the things that they did, you know, throughout the years that they've been here, sacrificing their body and their time and stuff like that, you know, it's only right for everyone on our team, you know, to give it their all for the seniors. So I think that was most of the mindset. Co Coach was talking about build, you building on your legacy with your performances and your records. Is that, as a player, something that even crosses your mind, or is that something, you know, when your coach's age, you'll think about your legacy at Maryland? Yeah, I think it's more so, uh, well, I think when I go on the field, it's more so just doing my job, and uh, I think everything works better when you just focus on your job instead of, you know, the records or anything else. I think uh, it's something to look back on and, you know, be very uh, proud of and thankful for, um, but... You know, going to this game, we just want to send the seniors out the right way. The last game in the shell, um, it's a special place, you know, uh, for these guys, and you know that's all we want to do. I take it you've never, have you ever looked in the book just to get a peek and see your name or uh, what book? Oh, the, the record book. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I think it's like I said, it's just doing our doing doing my job, and um, yeah, I mean, you guys know more than me about that. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Foregates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Foregates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, just, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Can you talk about the moment with Jay Sean when they announced you got the, the all-time mark and you're sitting with Jay Sean Jones on the bench? What did yeah. that mean to you? Um, I mean, he scored the touchdown that, you know, made me break the record and stuff like that. Um, it's, it was more so just a special moment. You know, he's a senior. He's been through a lot. Um, all these seniors been through a lot. And for him to have the game that he's had, and he had to switch positions, you know, just because uh, Brock is out, stuff like that. I mean, it's, you know, it was a lot on his plate. And for him to perform the way he did, I'm very proud of him, very happy with him. What did he say to you on the bench when he like lifted? It looked like he wanted you to stand up and. Yeah, he wanted me to stand up, and I lifted his hand. Oh, sorry. I lifted his hand because uh, he scored the touchdown and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make him feel special on uh, his senior day and stuff like that. So you were trying to recognize him, or he was trying to recognize you? Or yeah, he, it was both. Okay. Yeah. Was 500 total yards in offense. So what was really clicking for you guys, especially after those two early fumbles where you guys were able to not let that bother you? Yeah, I think uh, after those those two fumbles, we knew it was, um, you know, again, touch versus touch. You know, we were hurting ourselves. And we were moving the ball, you know, fine. And it was just a matter of us finishing drives. and. Uh, stuff like that so I think the biggest thing was just you know resetting getting back to neutral and um, going back to the basics you know with ball security taking care of the football that's number one you know safety first and uh, you know once we got in the end zone I think everything started going good. Co Co Coach knew what he was getting or thought he knew what he was getting because he had watched you play in high school and coached your brother it's very familiar with you your family did you know what what you were getting here when you came here, or is it just opportunity that maybe you weren't going to get at least immediately at Alabama? Yeah, um, it was more so the vision. Uh, you know, going into a place, you know, you always have goals and you know, aspirations and stuff like that. But you know, it's different when you're coming from a different team, and you know, you got to get used to the players and stuff like that. But I think uh, Coach Locks, you know, he always puts everyone in a great position to be successful. And um, he's very caring of us and stuff like that. Um, he always sees us to work hard, you know what I'm saying? So it was just more so of everyone doing their part. You know, when I'm coming here, I got to do my part and, you know, help benefiting the team and stuff like that. And the same as him, you know, benefiting us and 
stuff like that. So happy it's it's all it's all going good.